Smart Moves with Toby Tannis. And we're back in the kitchen with personal trainer Tracy Steen. Welcome back to Smart Moves. Thank you. All right, Good to Tracy here. is the queen of the homemade protein bar. So important to have something that you can grab and go. What we're gonna do, first of all, is take about a half a cup of all natural peanut butter. You could use almond butter as well if you want. And we're gonna take also a quarter cup of honey. Now we're gonna take one and a half bananas emulsify the bananas in our magic bullet. She's now, been waiting to say that word for weeks. Okay, so it looks like baby food. <laughs> it does. Okay, Toby, why don't you go ahead and put that into our pot with the okay. peanut butter and the honey. So basically what we have is one cup of quick oats. These are gonna be baked in the oven at 350. For, for about 12 to 14 minutes. Okay. You definitely don't want them to dry out. And uh, I'm using an all natural protein powder sweetened with stevia. You've got me on these all natural ones. I know. So I'm gonna use three scoops of that. And a Some little vanilla. bit of vanilla into our wet. What, like a there. teaspoon? About a half, maybe. Okay. Okay. There I'm gonna you go. keep stirring. You're gonna chop our walnuts up. Am okay. A half a cup, quarter cup of walnuts there. Well, walnuts high in psyllium. You know they're great for the brain. So I like the walnut and banana. That's a good combination. And together so as well. I mean, people get worried about calories and fat and things like this, but this is good fat, right? Exactly. Walnuts, uh, nuts are are healthy fats for us. So we want to incorporate those into our diet as well. Fat doesn't make you fat. It doesn't. No, you actually need it. Is this going um, in? Is it is going in. <laughs> Just acting like it's my cooking. Show. Drop it in there. Okay. And now I'm also going to add a little bit more protein and okay. omega 3 6 by adding some flax seed and some hemp hearts. Now it might um, seem a little dry to you, and if that's the case, you can take a little bit of almond breeze. It seems dry to me, Tracy. Yeah, and uh, we'll just add about an eighth of a cup of almond breeze in there. Okay, um, let's see the finished one product. One that's yes. already ready. I put it in tin foil just to make um, cutting and everything else. And clean up. Yeah, tin clean foil up really is easy. The secret, people. It's quite gooey, people. It's gooey. Kind of just press it to the sides of the pan. So that's about Perfect a serving, hey? That's about a serving. So you're going to get four, about eight. Yeah, okay. about eight out of that. And then you've done another sort of version. Yeah, now this is just a no bake. Um, protein bar. The same sort of base ingredients, um, the only difference is that they're not baked really. All so, right, in the freezer. Yeah. So there you go. You just have to have some basic ingredients yeah. and you can whip up your own homemade protein bars. If you'd like these recipes, they'll be on our website, chbcnews.ca. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks.